President Moon Jae-in met with leaders of the ruling and opposition parties at the top office of Changwade. The central topic was, of course, security issues, namely ways to deal with North Korea. Our Hwang Ho-jun starts us off. It was the third time President Moon and the leaders of the ruling and opposition parties have gotten together at the Blue House. This time around, the main focus of the meeting was national security. The leaders who attended the dinner meeting with the president were Chumie of the ruling Democratic Party, An Chul Su of the People's Party, acting leader and floor leader of the Parent Party Chu Ho Young, and Lee Jung Mi of the Justice Party. However, the leader of the main opposition Liberty Korea Party, Hong Jun Pyo, was a no show, rejecting the presidential office's invitation to the gathering. President Moon urged the political leaders for cooperation in dealing with North Korea's continuous provocations, calling the current situation an urgent task to resolve in order to ensure the nation's peace and economic growth. Since President Moon took office in May, his administration saw a number of provocations by Pyongyang, 11 in total, including the regime's sixth nuclear test earlier this month. And in the spirit of bipartisanship, President Moon renewed his proposal to form a permanent three-way consultation body that would include the government and the ruling and opposition parties, and which will aim at taking on those issues. President Moon's remarks come as the conservative parties have lambasted Moon for sticking with the dialogue with North Korea narrative. Also, the opposition and the presidential office already had some difficulties seeing eye to eye on President Moon's picks for high governmental positions. Wednesday's meeting was initially proposed by President Moon soon after he came back home from New York where he made his debut at the 72nd UN General Assembly. And since he got back, President Moon has continued to stress bipartisan effort and cooperation to put an end to North Korea's nuclear issues fundamentally and peacefully, just like the international community is doing now. Hwang Ho-jun, Arirang News.